When we first launched, there were a lot of people who said that we would never get this thing off the ground. And I think that, that we've proven them wrong uh, at, at the very least. Their criticism at the time was that this is too simple, that it's, um, that it's uh, not uh, going to resonate with, uh, with investors. I think what we found is, uh, to the contrary, uh, a lot of people were looking for a better way to invest. They were looking for something different from the status quo. Our vision from day one was to empower people to do what's best with their money so they can live better. We have expanded into the 401k, so now you can make the most with the money you earn at work and invest in that tax advantage account. We've expanded our advice offerings. I realized that some of the behavioral finance techniques that I learned in college, that, that, that we don't always make uh, the, the best decisions for ourselves, that we're not good at, at long range planning and so on, applied to me and, and applied to really everyone. John Bogle is a big influence on me. He's someone who has a clear interest in doing what's right for the customer and has dedicated his, his life, his career to that mission. You can't trust people to give you advice. You're getting sold all the time. It's unacceptable, it's wrong. We can do so much better and now there's actually an option that's doing better for you. The biggest hurdle that we have is awareness. There are a lot of our customers work in financial services and tech and are well aware of Betterment. Our brand awareness outside of that narrow slice of America is tiny. One of the things I've realized recently is that we have to be more assertive as a brand. We have to be very clear about our alignment with our customers and the fact that we're constantly working to maximize your money in a way that other old institutions are not and we have to wake people up to that fact, open their eyes to help them get what they deserve.